guys welcome back to this out of fashion hope you have a wonderful day today's episode is going to be on how to cut this gorgeous style you are seeing on the screen if you look at the style very well you might think it's um cropped up and skirt but it, it has a tiny band that attach both skirt and top together to make it a dress and that is all what i'm going to teach you on this video can see i'm using foil of this fabric i'll be cutting out the skirt first before cutting out the uh, the top let me just put it the top or a crop top so this is after taking three yards out of the four yard i'm using so i'm going to use this to cut out the damp part which is the skirt so i'll be folding i i said i can make use of a slant a line cutting for this case and I can also make use of flake cutting so let me try out the flake cut the scissors I'm making use of three yards so I'll be folding it into two first this way then into four like a triangle this is after folding it like a triangle you can see it you can see you can see the angle that I'm talking about you can see the way I fold it the first folding was into two then into four like this you can see this is the first folding you fold the fabric into two you can see and take one of the edge here then fold it into four and you try and go this way so after folding it out the next thing you're going to take here is take the waist measurement then the length of the skirt the waist measurement i'm using here is going to be 45 inches 45 inches so where can i get my 45 inches so this is 46 since we are still going to add a seam allowance to it so it's going to start from this area so it's going to start from here 46 inches so if you don't want to start from anyhow here you can decide to take the measurement from here to determine where you're going to start so let me take 19 inches so I'll be taking 19 inches round. 19 inches. Nineteen inches. You can see then I'm going to connect the 19 inches together. You can see. Then let me see what I have here. Yes this is 12 inches so that means it's with a seam allowance so 12 inches in four places is going to give us 48 inches so it will be okay for me for the band so after taking the waist measurement with some allowance since we're going to put an elastic over there so the next thing is to take the length of the skirt starting the length of the skirt from the waist here to the skirt length i'm making it of three inches for the skirt length so my skirt here is going to have a joining so this is 43.5 inches i know this from here to here is not equal so i'm going to make a joining that is going to complete it here Then I'm going to connect them together like this. You can see. So the next thing here is to cut it out. You can see the skirt now we are done with the cutting of the skirt which is 
um, triangle play cutting you can see it so this is how it's going to be you can see so by the time I open it out this is how, this is how it's going to be so we are left to that side that doesn't have a oh, complete side so we're going to join it together to make a complete side Just for me to complete this area that is going to have you no, know, it's going to have joining here to complete to have the same length as this, you know. So that is what I'm trying to cut out now. You can see that the nice thing to do now is now for, to cut it out this way. So you can see now. So, the, so this is what we're going to use to make a complete flay to this other one, you can see. So we are done with this. The nice thing now is to cut the upper part. So I'll be using this to cut out the upper part. So starting from here, starting from this edge here, I'm going to make a slant um, measurement like this, making it of 14 inches like this. That's the way I slant my hand. It's going to be from here to here, 14 inches. So from here to here, this is my 14 inches length. I'm using ammo 14 inches. So it's not going to be the normal ammo. The hatcher ammo is eight inches, and I added um, six inches to it to make it forty inches. So this is not constant. It depends on the allowance, uh, the amount of measurement you want to add to your ammo. So from here now, from this line, the line of the bo the bust line, the bust measurement is thirty-seven inches. That is, um, this is thirty-two. This is thirty-four. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. That's this is thirty-eight. So since we're still going to add some allowance to it, I'm going to make it of 9.5 inches. So this is my measurements now. So with the same allowance of one inch. So you can see it now. The same allowance of one inch. So with the same allowance of course at the waist at the bust measurement at the bust line is not fitted so with the same allowance of no this is the main um 9.5 inches to give us the 7 38 inches then i'll be adding 2.5 inches to it for the same amount then i'm going to connect my hammer to the line you can see now you can see where it is now so from here now from this from the from this area I'm going to make use of 15 inches. It's my 15 inches for the half cut. I know this is not starting from the shoulder, it's starting from the neckline. So this is 15 inches for the half cut. So you can see now. So at the waist measurement here. The waist measurement is 30 inches. The waist measurement is 30 inches. That's 7.5 inches, which is 30 inches. Then I'll be adding 2.5 to it to make it to make the same allowance. Then I'll be connecting them together like this. You can see now. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut it out.
so you can see now this is where we are going so the next thing to do here is to cut out the neckline so i'm coming down with four inches for the neckline so i'm going to connect it like this So you can see now this is not the neckline so at the neckline it has a slit at the front here so i can make use of a I can make use of three inches here three inches then from here i'll be making use of half inch half inch that is 0 0.5 so from here i'll be connecting it down to these three inches So you can see now so when i open it this is how it's going to look like so you can see so you can see now this is the hammer this is the bust measurement this is the neckline you can see so i'm going to use this to make a facing also this particular fabric to make the facing you can cut you can use another facing for it but yeah i'm going to make use of the same fabric the facing so at the front at the front here it's going to have a slit it does a cutting here then you're going to join in the back that's how the side is so i'm going to divide the center into two but before that let me use this to cut the facing So you can see now we are done with the body this is the facing and this is the upper part you can see the two so i'm going to join it together for you to see so the next thing to cut out now is the, the long tiny belt or rope. we can also call it a rope or tiny belt that goes from the neckline to the back So I'll be making use of two inches for that. Two inches. So I'll be cutting that in two places. So this is the two that I'm going to join together to make the rope. Welcome back. Hey, the finished work so far. This is the upper part and this is the down part, you can see. So let me take it through on how I stitch it. You know, I cut this doubled. This was double, you know. So I used this as facing also, the same material for the facing. Just to make it come out nice. You can use another fabric for the facing. It depends on how you want it to go. I want mine to be like this. So the first thing I did is the stitching of the facing with the upper part here. I stitched it around here. Then at the neckline. You know, it has a neckline that I cut out. At the neckline, I stitch it together. So the noise of using bias, I stitch it at the hammer side. So i added my loop to it you can see the way i had my loop you can see i put it in between the facing and the fabric the main fabric at the facing you can see the loop is inside so this is where the um the rope is going to pass through so after stitching it then i fold the neck you can see the way i fold it i just bend it since i've already Turn it to the facing, then I just bend it like just 
for me to be able to put my uh, loop you can see i just bend you can see the stitches so i just bend it the same thing applicable to the other side you can see and this is the area i turn everything after stitching then at the hammer at the neckline at the free neck here so at the side so this is the area the down part is the area that i turn everything out to the right side then and i stitch it i fold it into two this way and i stitch it like this at the other side then this is um 1.5 inches that i cut out so i stitch it on this and on this on the skirt and on the upper part which is the half cut so the same thing applicable to the other side too but i stitch it um had the dark line the distance of the two busts you know that is going to be our that so i stitch it at both distance which is um eight inches distance so the four the four inches is from the center to this area four inches is also from the center to this area so the distance now is now going to be um eight so i make sure i stitch I make sure when I want to stitch the down part here, I didn't stitch it on the elastic cover. Don't stitch it on the elastic cover so that the elastic cover will be able to um you'll be able to enlarge it this way. You can see. And if you want to attach it at the skirt side, you have to do it this way. Take the measurement, not that it is going to be like this and you be stitch. You might not know this um the distance of where you're going to you wanted to attach the down part on. So I did it this way before attaching it so you can see the way i chucked it after doing it this way then i chucked it you can see then i attach it attach the damp part onto the skirt so i didn't have any um band to the skirt i just bend it you can see the way i bend it just a little bit but since i'm putting half inch of elastic cover so i just bend it a little bit and i put my elastic over there so at the side i stitch it at both sides you can see the stitching this is the um the you know i told you it's going to have a joining so this is what i used to complete the circle now i cut it out and this is after joining it so this is the other side too of the skirt so it has two side joining on the back you can see this is only attached to the front and nothing is attached to the back because back doesn't have any half cut so this is how you're going to do it after putting your rope now i use a fabric to do this and i've already shown you the measurement i used so i folded it into two after after stitching it you can see it now then you're going to cross it take the this side on to this space like this like this you can see then this other one too to the other side you can see the cross at the back now so the next thing is just to tie it tight at the back and suspend the other one so that is how you can do like at the back and this is the front as you can see it on this screen so if you're watching for the first time please at the end of this class make sure to subscribe to my channel you're in the right place to be on your notification bell so that whenever i upload any tutorial You'll be notified and for those who have already subscribed i'm using medium to thank you all for subscribing to my channel see you in my next tutorial bye